Hey YouTube. So I've been using these cheap Chinese BMSs uh, for the battery packs and they work. Um, they're advertised for 25 amps. The biggest issue with these is they'll handle 25 amps if you double them up and only for less than a second. And then the failure modes, not so much that they let the magic smoke out, in that they eject the magic smoke forcefully with flame and noise. And the dog really hates it, and it's inconvenient when you get stuck someplace. So um, I decided to, uh, to beef these up. What I did was I went, uh, made a MOSFET breakout board, because I wanted to use these International Rectifier 4110 MOSFETs. Um, and they, is it gonna focus? And it doesn't matter, it's a MOSFET, the TO220 case. These, I've tested them, and uh, they do pretty good at about 10 amps a piece. Without a heat sink, it'll take them 15, 20 seconds to start to get hot. If you heat sink them, they will go for a long time before they start to get hot. So I went to easyeda.com. I designed these circuit boards and uploaded the files to JLC PCB and in nine days for 25 bucks I had a hundred of these at my house. Now I'm not sponsored by them but that's pretty incredible especially when you consider half that price was shipping. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take these breakout boards and these MOSFETs and we're going to turn this 25 amp BMS into a 40 amp monster. So, if you're ready, let's get started. So, the first thing I did was pull out the boards and inspect them, and they look pretty good. Um, next, I need to just provisionally see if it looks like it's even the right size, and the holes seem to kind of line up with the holes I pre-drilled in my heat sink. So, let's get started. Uh, take a little heat sink grease and give it a squirt on the back of the MOSFET and start bolting the MOSFET in place. It, it always seems, no matter how little heat sink grease you put on here, you are going to put too much and it's going to squeeze out and it's going to make a mess. But I keep trying to put as little as I can. So we got everything bolted in and it seems to fit in the board. So check it, see where it's gonna go on the uh, BMS. And that looks like it's going to work out. So time to solder the MOSFETs onto the breakout board. Um, this isn't my favorite soldering iron, but my good one broke and this one was available, so it's working. Get all those leads soldered in place and clip off the extra. I wish there were something I could do with all those little extra leads, but Okay, now what I need to do is I need to be able to attach this breakout board to the BMS. Um, I was trying the torch to get all the uh, factory MOSFETs off of there, and it looked like it worked, but in retrospect, I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Um, I this The board ended up being a failure, and I had to redo it off camera, um, and I think it was because of the torch. I overheated something when I used that torch, but... Uh, so I'm, I'm making some pads here. Uh, this is, uh, I'm scraping off the solder mask to be able to attach a piece of wire that I just tinned up. Um, tin up that pad that I just made. What I'll do is solder these wires down onto, <clears throat> onto the board and then bend the ends of the legs up and make uh, sort of table legs, like a table sitting upside down. And then I can slip the uh, the breakout board down on top of that, solder it in place, and we'll be good to go. So I tacked it in place first, then I'll come back with a solder and iron, solder everything down real good. Uh, doing the same thing over here. It's not a real big pad, so it's sort of getting some solder on the soldering iron and then spreading it out and then solder on and spread it out. Okay, so there I am, putting the uh, breakout board in place. 
connect that little signal wire. I'll do that first now. In retrospect, the tweezers weren't the best way to do it, but and I soldered three wires before I forgot to remember the I forgot to turn the camera on. So these are the last two here. Get those soldered up. And all right, everything's good. Everything's soldered. It's good to go. Clip off the extra leads. And it's almost back to square one. Now we got a 40 amp BMS that's ready to go. So what we need to do is attach it to a battery pack and test it and make sure it's going to work. So I use two different thicknesses of nickel strip. I've got some 0.1 millimeter nickel strip and some 0.2 millimeter strip. The 0.2, my welder won't weld. But the 0.1, I can get to weld to anything. So what I do is I put the 0.1 down, weld that to the batteries, lay the 0.2 on top of it, and then fold the ends of the 0.1 millimeter strip over it and uh, weld, the, weld the ends of it back up. So it works. I'm not sure how much more current carrying capability I gave it, but uh, it seems to do a pretty good job. So now what we need to do is weld some, or solder some nickel strip onto the BMS so that we can take that nickel strip and weld that to the battery pack. So I'll tin the wires up, or I'll tin the strip up first, and uh, you might notice I'm not using flux. Uh, for some reason, this nickel strip seems to do better without flux. I don't know why it doesn't like flux. But uh, I'll take the strip, tin it up, and I've got that fancy holder. It's a wire cutter with a rubber band wrapped around it. But um, take the pad on the BMS, put a little bit of solder on it first, then hold the soldering iron in front of your face, I mean on the nickel strip, so that uh, it, when it melts you see it squirt out, and then you see it better here, this one. Then you just sort of hold the nickel strip in place until everything freezes, and then uh, and there you go. It's soldered to the BMS. So let's get this fourth one done. Yeah, it didn't quite like it. wasn't sitting down real, real nice. Okay, now the BMS is almost ready. Uh, what I need to do now is connect the output wires because you won't have access to it after it's uh, welded to the battery pack. Um, these uh, little black framework pieces uh, work really nicely, and when you get everything on here, it's all makes a very tight, nice, good unit and you just you wouldn't be able to slip the wires in there for the output. But I'm using the thick nickel strip again, the 0.2 millimeter on the BMS. So I take another strip of the 0.1, I weld it to the BMS's nickel strip and then weld that to the battery pack nickel strip, kind of like a, a, a band-aid strap over the top of it. And it welds tight. I've had to take this apart before and it does not like to come apart. So, we now have a uh, battery pack. It's almost ready to go. Now what we have to do is connect the center strip of batteries to the outer strip of batteries. And I like to wait until last to do this for a couple of reasons. One, I'm not trying to connect up a BMS to a live battery pack. Um, if anything goes wrong and I'm doing that, uh, everything could be welded together and now you got problems and if something is heating up, it does not just come apart easily because it is welded. And then the other thing is when you come to this side and lay that first strip down, you will know if you got it right or not because if you didn't, your fingers will start to burn as that nickel strip turns red hot. Um, but then hopefully you got a chance to pull it off and figure out what's going on because it's not welded yet. But uh, so here we are, that's the last part. Battery pack is basically ready to go. So before we do anything else, let's test it on the output, see how it's doing, and more than 12 volts. That's what we should have. The last thing I'll do is uh, I'll enclose everything in, in heat shrink because um, it hides all my ugliness and makes it look like I know what I'm doing, even though I don't. <laughs> So there you have it. We took a cheap Chinese BMS, put it on this battery pack, and we've got a 40 amp monster here. 
Um, and this BMS will deliver more power than what these batteries are happy delivering. In fact, this BMS will deliver enough power now to where it will melt these nickel strips. Uh, trust me, you don't want to do that. So, you know, just like anything, don't try this at, ah, who am I kidding? Get out there and make something. If you like the video, subscribe, like, do whatever, all that other stuff. I'll see you in the next video.